the course industrial wastewater treatment and in today's lecture we are going to discuss about yet one more agro based industry and this industry is pulp and paper industry so here the natural fiber mainly wood is used for manufacturing of paper and that's why it is considered as agro based industry so the outline of the content includes introduction manufacturing process use of water sources of wastewater and characteristics of wastewater for pulp and paper industry so the paper can be made from varieties of fiber apart from wood you can make paper from jute bamboo baga straw rice cars and other material so we are going to learn the manufacturing process of making paper from wood so the process has two parts one is pulping process other one is paper making so pulping process includes recovery of cellulose from the raw material so here raw material is wood logs of wood is brought to the industry and soak in tanks known as log ponds the objective of soaking is to make the bark which is on the top loose so that it easily separates about 5 to 10 days period is required and after which the bark is removed and the wood is taken for the next step that is chipping which is nothing but cutting into small pieces the pieces of wood then are taken for the main process digestion during which all other material except cellulose is removed and depending upon the process employed various digestive chemicals are added at high temperature and pressure this process is carried out and once the digestion is complete the all other impurities except cellulose gets dissolved in digestive chemical so after that the cellulose fiber they are separated and the liquid remaining that is wastewater it is known as black liquor because literally it appears black because all the other impurities of the wood except cellulose is dissolved and it's present in this black liquor the cellulose fiber they are separated and then taken up for washing this results in one more stream of wastewater and it is known as brown wastewater now to remove yellowish color of this fiber the fibers are subjected to process of bleaching and then washing so three step bleaching process is done first with the chlorine then with the caustic and the last one is with hypochlorite this helps in removal of pale yellow color and now the white cellulosic fiber it is dry and stored and then it is sent for paper manufacturing now you must be aware of one more uh, source of paper making that is recycling of old paper so the manufacturing process for making paper from recycling or recycled paper is little different the paper collected for recycling is sorted and then shredded into small pieces and then with caustic sodium sulfate 
uh, sodium carbonate and steam. The de-inking process is done which is somewhat uh, similar to like uh, this digestion process, but here the cellulosic fiber is already separated only the other material which is added in the paper is removed and after de-inking the pulp is washed, bleached and then it is ready for paper manufacturing. So now let us look at the process, second part that is paper manufacturing. You have cellulosic pulp ready which is taken up and various filler material like talc, aluminium, then clay and color as per the need of the final product. They are added into this pulp and they are mixed thoroughly first in a unit called bitter and then in a unit called Jordan. And then this mixture is aligned on wires or screen. And if any nodes are there, they are removed. So, you have smooth mixture and this mixture is then arranged on paper machine. If any fiber which are protruding from alignment, then they are rearranged by spraying water on the screen. So, you have now raw paper arranged on the screen. This is then subjected to roller which are heated from inside. Using the steam, the rollers are heated and the outer side of roller, you have your paper. So, the moisture is removed and your paper becomes dry and this dry paper is then stored in the form of reel. In case of paper manufacturing, there is not much use of water. The water is used to align the fiber and the water which is collected from this process, it is taken to unit called save all. So, here the fibers are separated either through filtration, settling or flotation. Fibers are sent back to the bitter machine whereas the remaining clean water, it is reused after uh, chlorination process. Okay. So, if you look at sources of waste, most of the waste is from pulping process. Log pond that is intermittent wastewater discharge which consists of mainly suspended solid, chipping and debarking light color wastewater. The strongest source of wastewater is black liquor which comes out from digestion process, brown water from washing of fiber, light color water from chlorine and hypochlorite bleaching whereas costing water uh, bleaching results in highly colored wastewater. Now pause the video and think about the characteristics of wastewater generated from this industry. So as you have noticed in the manufacturing process, the wastewater is likely to contain suspended solids, dissolved solids, organic matter because wood is organic in nature, inorganic matter because inorganic chemicals are added during the manufacturing process. So, you are right, this wastewater is really highly polluted wastewater and some sources, they are so highly polluted that it is difficult or impossible to treat. So, the characteristics of wastewater, pH is higher side in the range of 8 to 9. This is because of alkaline agents which are used in the manufacturing process. Total solids, 
1500 to 2000 milligram per liter in which suspended solids are in the range of 600 to 1500 milligram per liter BOD from 150 to up to 1000 milligram per liter which is quite high and chemical oxygen demand COD it is in the range of 300 to 2000 milligram per liter. So, you can see that the wastewater is characterized by high, highly colored, then there is high temperature, high pH, suspended solids are high, and BOD COD values are also high. And this wastewater cannot be disposed of without proper treatment. So, with this we end this lecture and in the next lecture we will talk about treatment of wastewater from pulp and paper industry. Thanks everyone.